Guys of the holiday, there's one big star of the show, and that is Mr. Turkey here. And I got a great recipe for you to get the thing in the oven quickly and hassle free, and you're absolutely gonna love it. It's gonna be your favorite turkey recipe for years and years to come. So, what we've got here is a 12 pound organic turkey. It's been rinsed out really, really well and patted dry on the outside. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff this with a delicious herb butter. All right, we're gonna use the king herb of the holidays. We're gonna use sage and smash that into some butter and make a really delicious butter that we're gonna stuff underneath the skin, in between the skin and the breast, and it's gonna be really perfect. And we're also gonna make a really simple maple glaze to go on top of it. So you can smell the whole thing already. It's gonna be a turkey, right, with a little bit of maple glaze right on top. It's got a little bit of pure maple syrup. All right, then we're gonna drizzle this with a little bit of water, all right, just to thin it out. All right, then we're gonna take the whole thing and just kind of stir it together. All right, so this is gonna be the last thing that's gonna go on the bird, but we're gonna make it first, just so the whole thing can mix up. All right, now we're gonna make a really delicious butter, all right? So I've got some fresh sage here. All right, again, sage is the king herb for the holidays. It really makes the house smell delicious. So we got some sage, probably maybe a quarter of a bunch here, all right? Then what we're gonna do is kind of pull the leaves off, just like this, right? And we're gonna take the sage leaves and we're gonna chop them up pretty fine. All right, so we've got like a quarter bunch of fresh sage. All right, we're just gonna chop this up pretty fine because we're gonna cook it underneath the skin of the turkey. We're gonna take this whole thing, we're gonna toss it right into the bowl. And then we got a stick of nice softened butter. I left it on the counter for a while. And we're gonna take a little bit of kosher salt, we're gonna season this up. Fresh cracked pepper, keeps it nice and savory. All right, it's a lot of pepper. All right, then we're gonna take the butter and we're just gonna smash it all in together. Now again, this is a real simple recipe. We're using some choice ingredients to make this really nice. All right, boom. All right, perfect. So we've got our beautiful sage butter. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make a little pocket underneath the breast, right? In between the breast and the skin, we're gonna take our fingers, and you wanna carefully do this, right? Because you don't wanna tear the skin. But you just wanna take your fingers, kinda of stick it underneath the breast, and just kind of make a little pocket. What we're gonna do with the butter is take a nice little ball of it, and kinda of stick it as far underneath there as you possibly can. Then we're gonna take our fingers on the outside and just kind of smooth it out and try to get as much coverage on the breast as possible. All right, now quick little wash up. All right, great. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna truss the bird, okay? We're gonna tie it up so it's one big, thick, almost like a football thing, so it cooks really consistently. If not, you'll have a wing flopping here and a leg flopping here, and it's gonna cook real inconsistently. So we got a nice big piece of string, we're gonna pull the whole thing together. Okay, now what we're gonna do, all right, is we're gonna come underneath the wings. Okay, so we found like the middle point. Okay, so we got both sides are nice and even. We're gonna come underneath the breasts and the wings, and don't feel bad about manhandling the guy, right? You wanna show the turkey who's a boss. We're gonna go around the wings twice, okay? Just like that. Then we're gonna come underneath the legs, okay? We're gonna pull the whole thing together and it's gonna cinch, all right? Then we're gonna take both of our pieces of string, all right? We're gonna tie it around the legs a couple of times and just kind of bring it up so we get one big knot, all right? And just kind of tie the whole thing together. You can make a nice little bow like that. All right, we're gonna take our knife just gotta cut off some of the excess. Let's just string flop in a little place. All right, cool. Now what I'm gonna do, all right, is take a little bit of bacon. Now again, we're talking about making this really perfect and really delicious using a couple of choice ingredients. So there's nothing better than bacon and sage. We're gonna base this with a little bit of diluted maple syrup. You can taste it already. I know it smells really good. All right, so we're gonna take all this great bacon, we're gonna throw it right on top. Again, protecting the breast, right? Because the breast really dries out in the cooking process while everything else cooks. All right, so we got about a half pound of bacon. We're gonna shingle it right across the top of the turkey. All right, all these great pieces. All right, then we're gonna go back to our beautiful basting liquid, right? We've got maple syrup and a with just a little bit of water, right? And what we're gonna do is just kind of smear the beautiful maple syrup all over top of the bacon. Right, if you guys can think about how delicious bacon tastes in the morning with pancakes and maple syrup, you throw a little bit of savory stuff on top of that with some sage and some black pepper and some turkey, you got a great flavor combination. It's gonna be really nice. All right, so we're gonna paint the bird, right, all this beautiful maple syrup, right, so it's gonna get some great color on the outside of it. All right, then we're just gonna hit it with a little more salt and pepper, 
right on top. Salt, fresh cracked pepper, right? Now we've got the oven preheated at 350 degrees. And the magic rule, it's like 15 minutes a pound. So you got a 12 pound bird, so it's gonna go into the oven for about two and a half hours, right? So we got a tent, piece of foil, right? We're gonna fold this right in half, just like this. We can make a nice little tent out of it. All right, because we've got bacon and some maple syrup on top of it, we're gonna roast it in the oven all right, for about an hour or an hour and a half covered, right? Then we're gonna take it out for the last part of the process and we're gonna cook it uncovered so you get a nice beautiful golden crust on the outside. All right, so you got this guy. I got one in the oven, it's been cooking away. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look at this guy. How handsome is that, huh? You are gonna look like a superhero if you bring this out to the table. Everyone's gonna absolutely love it. All right, so we've got this. All right, guys, we'll do a quick little wash up, and then let's talk about the temperature internally of the bird, right? Because it's really important. You want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. And how you do that is actually with an instant read thermometer, okay? Now, you can pick these up at any store, right? They're about five or six bucks, and it's a lifesaver when it comes to a big, important meal like this. So what we're going to do is take an instant read thermometer, and we're going to drop it right in the thickest part of the turkey, which is in between the leg and the thigh. You want to drop it in close to the bone, but not actually hit the bone. All right, so we're going to get an accurate reading of what the meat is like on the internal side. Now, it should be between 165 and 170. All right, it looks absolutely perfect. You've got about 172 degrees. It's exactly where I want it to be. Now, we're going to let this rest for somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes let all the juices redistribute back to the bird. It's piping hot, so it'll stay hot for a while, and that's it. you got a perfect turkey that you're going to be really proud of, your family's going to love, and you're going to make this for years and years to come. That's it. It's my perfect turkey.